The next financial reward that we are going to study is bonus. A bonus is a payment method. that is paid in addition to contracted wage or salary You have decided that you are going to pay $5,000 monthly to an employee, but you pay extra amount than $5,000. This is called bonus. Uh, while the basic salary is usually a fixed amount per month, bonus payment may be based on criteria agreed between management and workers, such as increase in output productivity or sales. Uh, this situation is called bonus. We are going to study a very related term to that that is called PRP, performance related pay. When I'll teach that performance related pay, I'll teach what is the difference between the bonus and performance related pay. Uh, what are the advantages of giving bonus? First of all, uh, if a team is achieving the targets, they are or a group of people is achieving the targets or individuals are achieving the targets, the bonus is paid to them uh, that motivates them to work harder. Increases motivation to work harder because if they achieve targets and they receive bonus next time they will try more hard they will become more efficient to achieve those targets uh, it increases the productivity of the organization it increases the productivity of organization of workers If this is in addition to the basic salary, so it provides security too. It's not that bonus is paid separately. Uh, this is in addition to the salary, as I told you. Uh, there is another benefit attached with the bonus that is called recruitment benefits. The organizations who pay bonuses get the skilled workers more easy as compared to the other organizations. This is called recruitment benefit. When they will be in need of workers, workers will be more attracted towards such organizations. Coming to the disadvantages. If organizations do not pay bonus, this might create the resentment among the employees. Because they would expect that an organization do not pay it for a year or something like that because of some um, COVID situation, for example, the profits of organizations are falling and they are not paying bonus. So this might cause resentment among the employees. And why resentment? I told you that if organizations do not pay bonus for some year, for some reason, if it's individual, it might damage the team spirit. If it's individual, it might damage the team spirit. It is very costly for the organizations. For example, organizations decide to pay bonus up to one salary and there are 5,000 employees in an organization that are receiving $5 million salary. Um, organizations will have to pay 5 million extra in a month. It will be very costly for organizations. And for an employee, there is another disadvantage too. You know, a bonus is uh, taxable. So employees will have to pay tax on the bonus too. 
the situations in which bonus is used. First of all, uh, businesses want to pay one of benefit that is not an employment contract. So bonus is a good way for that. That is not part of contract. I told you earlier that we will discuss performance related pay and we will talk about the differences between the performance related and bonus. This is the one difference when we come to the performance related pay that is promised, but bonus is not promised. That's why sometimes organization even do not pay it. So employees cannot go to the court for that, that business has not paid bonus to us this year. And it's very useful when organizations want to reward high salary high benefits for excess for extraordinary performance so this financial reward is called bonus and these are the advantages and disadvantages of bonus as a financial reward system.